Everybody and welcome to another episode of Design Like a Pro. Today I'm going to expand on my book cover tutorial and show you how to use that design to make a dust jacket. So basically all we're going to do is change the size of this a little bit to accommodate those extra dimensions for the jacket. So here's our original file that we worked on last time. It's a 6 by 9 book cover which means that our document size is 13 inches wide to accommodate for our inch spine. So all we have to do is increase the width to accommodate the jacket because we have those two flaps on the left and the right that's folded inside. So let's take a look at the file. Okay, so here we go. This is our new document for the jacket. So let me show you what we're talking about size-wise here. All right. So if our original file is 13 inches wide, we need to accommodate for the flaps. So standard flaps are about 4 inches wide. They're not as wide as the entire cover, front and back. They're always a little bit shorter. So we're seeing here about a couple inches shorter. So if we make them 4 inches, that means that we have a total of 8 inches that's being added to the overall width of our document. So this is where 21 comes into play. We are, of course, doing math again. As you all know, in design, math is essential from time to time. So, now that we have that, we've added the dimensions to our flaps. So, we also have 9 inches for the height, that's not changing, and our bleed is still an eighth of an inch all the way around. So here is what we end up with. So basically, we're just increasing the width to accommodate those extra elements. So you can design this all in one document. So I have some guides here to let me know where things need to be. We have our four inch flap line here. This is the fold line and then I have a quarter of an inch on each side to let me know that this is where content needs to not be for the fold. Same on the other side, 21 inches minus four inches, 17 inches is where our line will go with a quarter of an inch guide on each side as well. And then we have our spine, which is an inch. So half of 21 inches is 10 and a half inches. So this is where our spine is. But of course the spine is an inch. So our actual fold lines will be 10 at 10 and one at 11. And then I would go a step farther and add another guide on each side um, at a quarter of an inch out, just so I know where the text needs to go. So then you can copy your design from the original book cover into here, and then all you have to design is the flaps. So let me show you what that looks like. Here we go. We have the same book cover design here. We've just added in content for both of those flaps. Now, because our book cover is very black and white with hints of red, I've decided to make these flaps a solid red to stand out. Now, of course, you're not going to actually see this when it's actually around a book. So these will be folded inside, which will add a nice color pop from the black and white text on the inside as well. So the only thing that I've added here is just some filler text with my book title. And this is actually going to be on the inside left. And this is actually going to be on the inside right. So that's something to consider that you're looking at this head on, but when it's folded inside, it's actually going to be on reverse sides of what you're looking at. So don't get confused and ac accidentally put the wrong content on the wrong side. And this side is for the author. Typically you have a synopsis and then on the other side you have some info about the author. So that's what we have going on here. So then I would just save this file out like we normally would our PDFs so that we have a dusk jacket cover and then we have one for our book cover because typically they look the same. You have the dust jacket which has more information because of the flaps but usually the book cover has the same information. This way if the jacket is taken off or separated from the book the same information is there minus the flaps. However there are some book designs that are very minimal as far as design on the cover and then the jacket has the majority of the information. So this would definitely depend on your preference or how this needs to be designed for your situation. This is just one way to do that. So you can see how you can have a original book cover design and just easily and very quickly expand that to include a dust, dust jacket for your project. 
So I thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. I thank you for subscribing, all of our recent subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you can also send ideas for upcoming tutorials to ideas at NikkiHeart.com. And I will do my best to feature those in an upcoming tutorial. So I thank all of you for watching, and I hope that this completes your journey into creating a book cover. Of course, this is only one way to do that. There are a lot of different book cover designs, sizes, you name it. But this is a great setup to use, and you can apply this really to any size or situation that you might have when it comes to book cover design. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Music